iOS 10 includes a new markup feature that used to only be available in the mail app and now it's available in photos and in messages. So to demo that, I'm going to launch the photos app. I've already got my photo picked out, but markup removes the live photo ability, but I don't want to lose this live photo. So what I'm going to do first is do the share button in the top right corner. It's the box with an arrow and then select duplicate on the bottom. Now I'm going to choose duplicate not duplicate a still photo so I can show you what the live photo warning looks like. So duplicate. And now that I've made an extra of this photo, I'm going to tap the edit button. That's the top right corner, three lines and three dots. And then we've got an extension button here. It's on the right side, three circles, three dots inside of a circle. And tap markup. There's that warning I mentioned. We're going to say OK here because we have a copy anyway. Now, if you do lose a live photo, you can go back and revert, and, and it will recover it, but without markup. But here's markup mode. We've got some options to draw, magnify, put text over the image, change the color we're working with, change the line thickness, and then change the text. So to get started, I'm going to pick a color on the bottom, pick a nice orange. Dismiss that. And I'm working with the Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro. So I'm going to draw a nice mustache. Now you see an option to change the way that the line is styled. It makes it a little bit more precise. You can adjust it from there. I'm going to go back with the original one I did draw. And then change the color to black. Got some nice shades there. And now I'm gonna use the magnifying glass. So we get that, you can move it around, drag it with your finger. You have two options, you can make it larger, you can also change the magnification with the green circle. I'm gonna put it over the word new, just so we can see the word new and exclusive there. And to demo the text, we're gonna tap the text button. Pull this up in the middle of the screen, I'm gonna drag it over here to the side. Tap the word text, tap edit, and from here I'm going to change the emoji keyboard and do the laughing, crying face. One, two, three. That's nice. Done. And that's pretty small for what I want, so I'm going to tap the text button, the edit button for text. It's on the bottom right corner of the two A's. And you get some options for font. There's no font for emoji, but we can change the size. Now I want these to kind of move around, so I'm going to make this thinner by the blue circles. Now it's a nice triangle of emoji. Again, I want to make them a little bit larger, so I'm going to adjust the size. There we go. And if I want to apply text, I'm going to make a new text box by tapping the text button. Move that over here to the side of this white space. Tap again to edit with the word really. And done. Now it doesn't quite fit there, so I want to adjust the text size, make that a little bit smaller, use the crazy noteworthy font, go a little bigger now, and let's change the color. Let's go with this bright pink color. And now I've got my image. I want to save that so I can send it off in the top right corner, tap the done button, saves that. And you can, from here, you can further edit. You can apply filters. I'm going to leave it as none and save with done. And there we are. Now, I also want to demo markup in the Messages app. So I'm going to launch Messages. I've got a message here with Benjamin Mayo. I'm going to select the camera icon to pick a photo. I've got a nice photo of Bose headphones here. I'm going to select and tap. To edit. And right there we've got a markup option in the bottom left corner. So I'm going to tap markup. And there we have the same options we saw earlier. I'm going to draw, let's pick a nice blue color. A little bit buggy there on the UI, but I'm going to tap out of there. Need those. And you've also got another option here uh, for applying a signature. So I'm going to tap that. Get a nice signature box. There we 
we are. Done, and you can move that around. This would be really nice if you're assigning a document. And there we are, we're gonna say save. And done. And just like that, we can send that right away. So that's markup on iOS 10.